Hello world. Hi, my friends across the world. This is the International Art Alliance. This is the Palimpsest Project Live. We've been creating artworks that we ship, actual physical artworks to each other around the world. A palimpsest is a piece of material, a piece of art or writing in which something has been scraped or added to or annotated in some way. And that's what we do. Each person in our group paint something over what somebody else did. It's a crazy idea that we have. And here we are doing it. And and how long have we been doing it now? Uh, two years two, almost. Two years? Oh my God, incredible. Incredible. And so we- I mean, really this become... is our, our 73rd episode. So for a while. Episode. So we've really become quite good friends. I think we were, we, we had met even a year before that. So now this is the third year that we're interacting as artists. Well, who are we? We've got um, Cheryl Wilcox in Australia. Hi, Cheryl. And, Good morning. And Denise Wiesman Pilcher in Quebec. Hi. Good afternoon. And Rose L. Williams in uh, British Columbia. Hi. Hi. And and Laura Spadetto in the United Kingdom. Hi. Hi. And I'm Ross Berman. I'm in Los Angeles, United States. And today we're going to look at and discuss. Um, the writing and uh, the, the painting and writing practice. And Laura has a very strong one. She does that plus, you know, a big life. So um, how do you hold it all together? What are you doing? What's your secret? <laughs> I'm not holding that together. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a mess uh, sometimes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's say that I, I, I start, um, now, I started to write them many years ago because I, when I had my first uh, uh, exhibition in uh, Barcelona, before to do the exhibition, I wrote many, uh, some poems uh, related to every every painting, and uh, I was I found out uh, the the I find uh, on, on a in a USB uh, the other day. Uh, this poem that I wrote. However, I like uh, to write all short. I write uh, to. I liked before to write short story or poems, but just for um, for myself, not to publish. I never thought to publish something. And uh, last year, I made a course uh, to to understand how to publish something. And during the course, uh, they teach you how to publish a nonfiction. So I started with that. Uh, and uh, now I'm currently I'm trying trying to write um, like three novels at the, at the same time. Wow. One is a murder mystery. One is a romance, and the last one is a fairy tale. I'm excited um, the most about the fairy tale because uh, this project is related to a, a series that I'm starting to paint. Uh, and uh, it's like uh, uh, first came the, the idea of the paintings, and then I tried to find something to link all the painting together with, uh, because in the painting I'm talking about emotions, and uh, so I I had the idea to write a, a short fairy tale. This fairy tale I, I'm not sure how how long it would be. I, I, it hasn't to be too long. It has to be short fairy tale like uh, talking uh, in words like i think 2000 words uh, but it's uh, difficult also to keep it short because you know while you're writing is like a, when you're painting you go and write write uh, many things there but you have to to cut uh, to to choose uh, what you just want to keep uh, Oh, weather! Well, it's a it's a amazing journey, uh, fascinating. I discover a different part uh, of myself, uh, and uh, and also I'm uh, <laughs> I'm uh, curious to see what uh, what would be the. Uh, to be honest, I'm curious also how uh, would will be the final uh, story. However, 
it's a, a project that it takes uh, around, I think, uh, one year, um, one year and a half to complete everything because uh, write, the writing process is long and it's not uh, just to write, you have to, to, to work also a part of the writing uh, let's say the cover, the keyword, the description, uh, formatting. There are many things uh, uh, inside this uh, this art. is is not just the writing. If you want to publish it, so so it's a self-published piece that you're doing, and then yes. you'll surround yes. it with all these other things, um, the SEO and the keywords and hashtags and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So uh, I know not about hashtag. Uh, it's more uh, uh, SEO about keywords, uh, but uh, this is a, a second uh, part of the journey. Uh, the first one I have first to to complete the first uh, part of the journey. That uh, and it's uh, like uh, uh, sometimes I can relate the two things: the painting and writing. Sometimes not, but sometimes yes, because, uh, for example, uh, I uh, I wrote like uh, more than half of the fairy tale, and three days ago I start again <laughs> to 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 rewrite because uh, I thought that uh, something was going in the wrong side, and it happened many times also in painting that I start to paint. Uh, with uh, something in my mind, uh, uh, thinking of the uh, the outcome, but what uh, I want to create uh, the idea. Um, but yeah, at halfway, I'm not happy, and so many times I leave it apart, uh, waiting to to see if uh, inside me uh, surge something as. Uh, so for this reason, probably also the the the, the path would be longer because I'm working on different different uh, with different expression. Also because I decided uh, uh, consciously to work on different kind of uh, of novel and also to paint because of my my mind. And uh, I get uh, um, stuck when I am tired to do something. Uh, it's like uh, my mind is uh, go blank. I don't have idea. So I find that it it useful for me to to jump some uh, on something else when I'm excited and wait to uh, um, that the turbulence of the other project start to to grow up i need the turbulence i, I need the excite the excitement i cannot do anything if i'm bored yeah. so, uh, so, um, do you feel I, that when you're working on the project that involves both paintings and writing your fairy tale that you switch between the painting and the writing often because it all sort of has to flow together uh, um, there is a, 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 a positive part of writing is uh, that not every time I can do on painting is that in writing there are some uh, part that you have uh, uh, that where you don't have to use your creativity. I'm, I mean, for example, formatting, you have to use your the visual creativity, but not the creativity about writing or painting to create something new. You have just to visualize and uh, what, how you want the, uh, your writing appear on the page, uh, formatting or uh, what, ah, translating. I'm translating all the books while I'm writing, I'm translating in Italian and Spanish. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> but it's not so difficult because uh, I, I decided to do in Italian Spanish just because uh, it's the language that I I can I can speak, uh, and so um, I, I'm using a, 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 a platform to translate. 
and I have I need just to uh, correct them. Uh, now I'm doing on reverse because before I was writing in English first. So I, I, I wrote in Italian, translating in English, but paragraph by paragraph. Now I'm writing in Italian and translate all the chapter in English. So I find more um, easy for myself to, to give the concept in Italian and then translate in English and in Spanish and just uh, pay attention to the sounds of the words and what uh, in fact mean. It's, it's a long uh, work, but uh, it's it, uh, satisfying. And doing many things uh, help me to, to keep, uh, but it's uh, tiring. Sounds uh, like also. it, but not boring. <laughs> No, because uh, apart of that, uh, there is also the family, the kids, uh, that uh, in, on this day, it's, um, uh, uh, the school are finishing, the university uh, is finishing. So, um, yeah, you have to balance uh, the presence and be absent. <laughs> so I wonder, because we've been talking about artistic voice in the past, uh, the past couple of weeks, did you find that finding your voice as a writer was a different process than uh, finding your voice as a painter? No, no. no? I find that I, 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 I mean, uh, if uh, my voice is what I understood for myself, I think um, my voice is what I, I, the, the, what I want to convey to the people that are reading or uh, seeing my, my painting. And uh, it's the same thing. Also, uh, with the nonfiction uh, books that, that are m more easy to do, you have just to talk about uh, mm -hmm. something. But in my, I, I wrote my uh, the nonfiction with the, in mind what I want to uh, give uh, to who is reading, uh, who will read, or his reading now, because. Uh, um, there are people that are reading now <laughs> the books, so, so and it's um and it's the idea on the bottom on the root of what I, I do. It's uh, the balance, find the balance. I think that it's so important to find our balance and what uh, uh, the balance uh, with everything because uh, life it's like a roller coaster, and so many times we no few times we are really happy. A uh, few times we are really sad. Uh, many times we are in the middle, but also in the middle is not uh, good. And uh, because you can get bored, uh, it can be boring, it can be anxious. Uh, so we have to find uh, every day. It's uh, like a constant job uh, that we have to do with our soul to find our balance in every, what, whatever we do. And it's, it's not easy uh, because it's not something that you learn how to do it and uh, that's it. Uh, you have you you master. No, you have to master every day. Every, it's uh, when you wake up uh, because, uh, um, for example, this morning I woke up. I feel so, I felt so nervous. I was really nervous, and, uh, anxious, and I, you know, when. You feel also in your the skin like uh, uh, like electricity, and uh, for no reason, or maybe there are few reasons. But, uh, I, I didn't know why this morning I was so nervous, and so you have to. I had to, to try to also to express my my anger in some way and. Uh, and try to smooth and yeah. And so I, I this uh, necessity to, for, I think for every human being to find the balance, I try to convey through the writing and through the painting. So I think that the voice, uh, it's uh, the same. It's still you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
So I know some people, they'll, they'll work on a number of pieces at the same time. You know, they could do three to five pieces at a time, work them up either consecutively or um, sequentially. Yeah. Is that what you're doing, Denise? Is that what yeah, you're doing? <laughs> always. Yeah. So, and like, I kind of get that, you know, because I'm primarily an artist and I, I mean, I write a little bit. But I can't even imagine, you know, writing three blog posts at a time, let alone three <laughs> stories, okay. and one of them's a mystery, and I mean, they're like really different genres yeah. too. So, um, I, what's your secret there? No, it's not a secret. Uh, last week I was uh, uh, in London uh, to a conference about uh, self-publishing, and uh, there was a uh, one of the a conference men. I don't know how to say that one uh, who was uh, talking about. Uh, uh, he is a writer and he built a, a, a platform that is called Book Funnel to, to convey the, 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 yeah, doesn't matter. He said something uh, funny that, uh, and I felt really uh, linked to me because he said, that how uh, hard is to write the post, the blog uh, every day for us that, that we are writer. He, 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 he is doing a full-time writing. And uh, he said, when I'm writing a novel, I'm not writing uh, about myself. Uh, I'm writing, I'm inventing something. Uh, it's my creativity. Uh, and it's also for painting. Uh, we are not, uh, we express what we feel, but we are not talking about ourselves. But it's so difficult to talk about ourselves. So to, uh, to, post every day also a small sentence about uh, our job our job or what what we are creating i i, I don't know if uh, it was uh, your question about uh, you were talking about uh, many posts uh, about well so, so so it sounds it sounds like you know a blog post kind of thing that's a a very different sort of <coughs> animal i still think that what you're doing is you know like light years more difficult than i mean a blog post is hard enough for me it's like i can't even yeah, but to, to write a mystery and a fairy tale and a romance, like. Uh, well, actually, I know one of my favorite writers. Uh, he he works on multiple uh, pieces at really? the same time uh, too. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it, it's not something so unusual because uh, probably you need to 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 feed your creativity and to find how your mind works because. Uh, mm. uh, yeah. Obviously, at the beginning, I uh, I. Let's see if I'm writing something good, <laughs> because one thing is right, uh, uh, like uh, one thing is fake, but uh, it depends on uh, the, how it will be the outcome. So, and also there is a, a lot of problems, like uh, um, the, the don't be believe in myself, so I have to work also in on that side, don't, don't believe that I'm good enough on doing this thing it's uh many times i woke up and say oh well, what i'm doing i have to leave everything i i, I don't know to neither to write neither to paint so uh, but i think it's uh, uh something that happened to many people that are working with creativity oh yeah because when when uh, when uh, uh, the flow is is going on, you are excited. But when this flow stuck for a while, uh, you think that uh, never will be uh, will flow again. So mm -hmm. you are you get frustrated and you think, oh, yeah. I, I've I've seen also with uh, some other friends, uh, either painter or, or writer, the 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 fear of not, not being able, it's uh, uh, something that touch everybody. <laughs> yeah, for mm. sure. Mm. <laughs> so, so now what about your process to like to even get to the point where you're writing about certain things? Uh, uh, you know, I'm, we, we talk about how we start with our pictures. We'll, maybe make a sketch or take photographs and have some kind of a relationship with our source material. Um, so how do you go about 
the you know write, writing something um i can uh, talk about the the, the process that i i had uh, about the fairy tale because uh, it was very funny how it worked but uh, for everything it's a, a, a start with a, an idea uh, as a, for a painting you have an idea what you want to express uh, for a the novel uh, for example murder mystery i started because i thought uh for the murder mystery i thought that uh, what would happen for the book one two or three <laughs> to be honest at the same time because uh, the first one was uh, how, uh, but I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> it's more the mystery. <laughs> uh, so, however, it, it was like everything linked. Uh, but the fairy tale, uh, I remember exactly because I I, I, I I took my daughter at school and coming back, driving back, I was thinking how oh, I, I have to because uh, you know that my daughter is my muse for my painting so I, I took some pictures and photos of her and uh, and I know how uh, I want to paint this photo I don't want to paint her but I want to paint an emotion or something a value uh, I was trying to 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 give like a link for everything uh, and so um, I thought to write some poems that uh, could link and then i thought but why i i don't write a fairy tale that it talks about a, a a process the process that she's going through it that is growing up and to understand that there are obstacles that you have to overcome that uh, not every time the obstacle are uh, not many times it is what teach you the most and uh, uh, the, the process of, of uh, overcome the obstacle take you to understand who you are and to discover yourself. So the fairy tale talk about this this uh, journey of a princess, obviously, <laughs> because uh, it's a fairy tale and uh, that has uh, to go through a, an ancient enchanted forest uh, uh, because she has to find a treasure, but nobody knows uh, what the treasure is uh, uh, except that the treasure is a uh, different for everybody and everybody needs to find what they are looking for and she is looking for uh, to find herself and she will find but i don't discover now what uh, what she will find at the end of the journey <laughs> so and this was uh, um, and it takes uh, like uh, dear to to start uh, i think uh, 10 15 minutes uh, because it was like, and uh, I get home and I start right uh, to to decide to to think of the the, the characters, and the name, uh, how does it, uh, she likes looks like, and uh, uh, and then I start to uh, to to write, uh, and as I said before. Uh, Three days ago, I started the game because, but it, I mean, it's not starting again. I have all the material. I have just to clean and to choose uh, which uh, metaphor would be better for what I, I want to express. Mm. Very cool. Can't wait yeah, to read it. It's exciting. Uh, but uh, yeah. Many times I feel like I'm not doing and I'm doing nothing because uh, when, uh, for example, during the day I don't go, uh, uh, I don't write enough or I don't sketch or I feel that uh, like I'm too lazy to, but in, in, in reality I'm always working with my mind. As I said, it's a, it's a mess inside here, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't it's believe that for a second. Like well, most artists. <laughs> yeah. How do you how do you how do you uh, like divide your day or like do you have oh. set times that you'll sit at your desk when you you know when you're not feeling lousy like you were just saying? But no, um, I, I I don't. Uh, uh, this is a very big problem for myself because I, I I'm not able. Uh, for example, uh, I I write every every morning what I have to do. Uh, when I don't write uh, what I have to do in this uh, board, uh, whiteboard, uh, and I scratch, I feel that I'm losing my my way. 
and and I don't write every day. Uh, as I said, I, I, I'm because I I get distracted uh, if I'm not excited about uh, something. I get distracted in in a in a second. Uh, so uh, I don't. Uh, I, what it's a uh, um, that I cannot uh, that I have to do every day. It's uh, take my daughter at school, go <laughs> to take take her back uh, at the evening. Uh, all the my day is uh, divided on the 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 thing that I have with my kids. They are my first. Um, so and writing and I, I try to use my writing and my painting in the time that I have uh, free. For example, mm -hmm. uh, during uh, the past month, uh, I, I was at home from the morning to the evening, so I could uh, write a lot to to sketch. Not painting too much, but uh, sketch uh, a lot. But uh, two weeks ago, my son Filippo came back. Uh, then my son Stefano. Then uh, I had here some friends of them, and then uh, and so uh, this um, this thing interrupt the, the the flow, and it's difficult sometimes to do, uh, and I get lost. Uh, uh, but um, I find. For this reason, I find useful for myself uh, to have a different thing to do. So many times, are they are overwhelming because it's too much. But it's the how I I can manage to uh, get excited to start something new every like every day. Because uh, if I, for example, if uh, tomorrow morning writing, I I don't feel that I can do it, uh, I, I can see, let's uh, take a look at the cover or uh, the keywords or the sketch or the photo, which photo I, can I choose? And so, so I don't have a plan. Uh, every morning I decide what I, I would like to complete. I would like, it uh, doesn't mean that I, I complete uh, what I write down. <laughs> no, never, never. I complete what I I write down. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can confirm, as I said, that it's very hard to 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 deal with uh, my mind for myself. <laughs> my <own. laughs> Fascinating. I just can't believe you're doing all of these different kinds of things, plus mm -hmm. raising a family. It's just, you know, I no, thought but you, I think it's easy you write a book, it, you make a painting. I mean, they are grown up. Uh, when they were ch uh, kids, uh, uh, small, little, not little, uh, it wasn't possible. Uh, and uh, now I can realize why many, I couldn't do many things uh, uh, before, because uh yeah i can say that the the uh, the most uh, important thing for myself are my my kids so i'm so focused on them that everything comes after so also my creativity that is frustrating many times but is how i am so i'm not uh, uh, and you know that uh, to to paint to, to create you have to to focus on a lot for many hours on what you are doing, mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, discover it about myself to give me peace, uh, peace, peace. Because, uh, uh, as I said, I thought uh, that uh, of being a, a lazy person uh, with not so much. Uh, um, uh, consistency but I have consistency with my my children so uh, now that they are grown up and uh, independent and I'm not the, I don't have to worry uh, every minute I can be more consistent with my my journey yeah yeah, yeah. you have to open something now um no, we're going to have a demonstration today. 
from uh, Rose. Rose is going to show us, I think, a, how to make a sun print, how you do a sun print. Yes, um, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you start a sun print. The, um, the collaborator in a sun print is the sunshine. So you're dependent on whether it's a sunny day and even when you start, oops, maybe some clouds come by or maybe some raindrops, you never know. So <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I start the sun print because I never know how it's going to end. <laughs> okay, so the first and most fun part of this process is to um, find and choose your leaves. That's what I do. I'll be looking for some vegetation. Get things started. take some of my dye. This one is Osage, if I can get it open. Okay. With a bit of acorn. What I made myself, obviously from acorns, put the rod in here. And we got some avocado dye. Now we'll see how that responds to the rest of them. Now I'll start to place some leaves. The more wet they are, the easier it is for them to stay in place. It's a great shape. Leaf. One of the most important parts of this process is that you do it on a sunny day. these of course for the wind to keep them from blowing off and now the secret is the sunshine and letting it dry so that's how you make a sun print and you'll just have cool. to stay tuned see what happens when it's dry cool. cool how long does it have to dry for well, now that is partly determined by the viscosity of the ink or dye that you've used. So if your uh, ink is very thin and not viscous at all, you can let it dry, absolutely dry to the bone and then just peel them off. However, if you have any viscosity 
any kind of, um, uh, well, I mean, all of the different plants have their different materials and chemistries. You don't want them to get too, too dry and then stick to the paper with the viscosity of the ink. When it, Once it's dried, it can turn into kind of like concrete. And then you're stuck trying to get that leaf off. <laughs> Been there, done that. No fun at all. Then you destroy your matrix. So there's a there's a, a a special little spot there where you go and you check and you make sure that it's dry enough that the um, the ink has pulled out to the edges of the leaf and it's nice and crisp. And then you can remove your leaves then. Very cool. Yeah, it's fun collaborating with Mother Nature. Mm. Can't wait to see the finished yeah. products. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. You'll see that one next time when our mm -hmm. Master of Ceremonies gives me the direction to show it to you. 